now student i hope you understood that what kind of conditions were there people living in the france they had lot of overburden of taxes and treasury also be totally be emptied means financial condition also be worst and fr 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 french people they were under the debt fine and society also be under the feudal system now what about the social setup first one french society was divided into three estates first estate clergy they only what about the condition of clergy they enjoyed privileges by birth means they are belong from the noble family means they may be relatives of king or maybe they are the family member of the king so that by birth they can enjoy all kind of privileges all kind of facilities are present in the society exempted from the paying tax they also did not pay taxes to the king next one extracted taxes called tithes means they collected taxes from the common people and that tax was called tithes fine next one second category they are the nobility nobility means those are the members of the court they are the ministers of that court fine enjoyed feudal privileges just now i told you few feudal lords also be there few zamindars also be there they only got land from the king and afterwards they collected more taxes from the people and a few part they only be deposited to the king and another part they only be captured that amount of money and afterwards they became more rich next one exempted from paying tax so that by that easily you can understand first and second estate they were exempted from the tax they did not pay tax to the king but they enjoyed all kind of privileges or facilities that present in the society and another tax so that first kind of tax you can see that mainly collected by the state by the king that is the tithes another second type of taxes also people had to pay second type so uh, levied also we they pay that is the tally fine next category they are of third estate who are the third estate third estate are they they are mainly the common people mainly business personnel then merchant court official lawyer peasants artisans then small peasants landless labor and another one servants what about their situation burden of taxes borne by the third estate means all kind of burden of taxes only on them they only had to pay all kind of taxes that two types of taxes were there first one of tithes another one tally tally is the direct tax mainly collected by the feudal lords and tithes that they had to pay to the king fine so that but they did not enjoyed all kind of privileges there no kind of privileges they enjoyed by them next one what about the another also be how people struggled to survive first of all another condition also another situation also was there in france rapid increase in population means rapid growth of population and shortage of food grains because that time crops also we failed in one season and people unable to get food they unable to fulfill their food demands so that rapid increase in population rapid increase in demand for food grains automatically when population will be increased that time food demand also be increase so that shortage of food grains that time wages could not match rising prices prices means that kind of amount amount of means uh, wages they get from their uh, masters means that workers they get wages from their master it not fulfill their demand also because price of the goods were so high that time that's why they unable to fulfill that demand next one drought or hell father made the situation worse and this year just now i told you crops 
failure was there so that that drop and hell also be made the situation worse shortage of food lack of money the less wages they were getting so this kind of situation people faced during that time next one outbreak of subsistence crisis what is the meaning of the subsistence crisis it given in your book one keyword is there such kind of situation where people unable to fulfill their food demand that is known as the subsistence crisis fine next topic the most important thing next we are going to explain that is about the role of middle class how middle class they played played an important role to motivate the people for this revolution fine